Hello, everybody. Um, Brett Kelly here for another Tuesday Tech Tip at 45 Drives. Uh, this week's an exciting one. We are, um, I'm here to introduce a project we've been working on and we're ready for a release to the general public. It is called Ceph GeoRep. And what Ceph GeoRep is, is a efficient unidirectional um, backup daemon for CephFS. And um, well, before I get into all the fun details of it, let's roll the intro and uh, let's get into it. Okay, before I dive straight in the details of, of what's going on and how this project works, let's hit the main points of what Ceph GeoRep is and what its main application is for. So Ceph GeoRep is an asynchronous backup utility for sending data from a Ceph file system to another file system somewhere else in your network or out over the internet or anything. Because remember, it's asynchronous. This is a kind of trickle charge, set it and forget it kind of backup utility. Like I said too, it does not have to be CephFS to CephFS. It's built around rsync, so the receiver end just has to be a Linux file system, and it has to have rsync. Um, the main application for this Ceph GeoRep, well, the idea first of, of doing this is there's no native tool in CephFS to massively just send data somewhere else. Uh, people who are familiar with GlusterFS, this is a feature that GlusterFS had, and one thing that as we migrated from Gluster to more Ceph builds, uh, it would be great to have a GeoRep type um, um, feature. So that's what we built with Ceph GeoRep. And the idea here is to have a disaster recovery or an offsite backup or just another copy of the data on your CephFS or some of the data, it doesn't have to be all of it, somewhere else. This is unidirectional. It is not a bidirectional. It's not a turn this on. You can work from either cluster or either place. Again, it's just somewhere to very simply and easily set it and forget it back your data up somewhere else. Okay, so now that we've talked about what it is and where you should use it, let's talk about uh, why it works. I said it's an efficient um, uh, backup utility. Some people might be scratching their head right now and going, are you just running rsync in the top level and sending that? No, because that would be slow. Using rsync at the top level and sending down, that'd be fine for, I don't know, maybe even up to a couple terabytes, but like as massive as this FFS file system could get, just run an rsync at the top level there and letting it send everything. There's nothing fast, magical, or efficient about that at all. So what we did was we utilized, uh, CephFS has a bunch of fun kind of cool stats. Uh, and I, they're literally fun and cool because it, no other file system gives you um, some of this information about the file system and the data there. But I digress, I won't talk about that right now. What I'm talking about is one of those in particular is called the recursive C time. And what the recursive C time is, you can imagine it's when a file gets updated, that time gets updated, but it's recursive. So what I mean by that is it gets shot up to the top of the file system tree. So if you had a piece of code that just watched the top level for a change in our C time, and then just intelligently followed that down and crawled through and find where the changes are, then when you found the changes using this RC time, because that is very fast, much faster than letting our sync do it, just take the files in that directory and fire them off to the other side. So what we did is we kind of, we used rsync, but we used one of the really cool and unique features of CephFS, of its recursive uh, stats. And that's how we efficiently find changes in data and send it somewhere else. So um, I won't go any further into the details here because I helped with the architecture, but um, a colleague of mine, Josh Boudreaux, uh, did the wonderful programming work to make it reality. So maybe I can convince him to come on here one of these weeks and give us a little more of a, a deep dive. But uh, that's what Ceph GeoRep is, what you should use it for, and a little bit behind the scenes of what makes this unique. So I wanna wrap up with, I'm really excited for everyone to use this tool. This is a tool authored by 45 Drives, but in no way has to be run on 45 Drives hardware. Um, this is built to take a CephFS file system and send it to another file system. Doesn't have to be CephFS, could be something else. So anyone who has CephFS and has been wondering how to efficiently send their data somewhere else, this is the tool for you. We're really excited to 
give back to the community this way. We have always been big open source components. I think I might even say it in every second video. So if you're tired of hearing that by now, get over it because I'm going to keep saying it. Um, but contributing to the open source community means a lot of different things. You don't necessarily always have to give code. You can give time. You can give money. You can learn and give back to the people with knowledge and, and, and make something that might be scary and hard for someone a little more accessible for someone else. The whole point of the open source community is that we're open about learning and teaching each other. And that's always what we've been doing at 45 Drives. And I'm really, really, really proud and excited to really offer something as a standalone project that we authored that, that, that will help other people as well. So um, I guess I'm just really excited for everyone to try it out. So existing customers, people who aren't customers, fans who have CephFS, anything, try this out. You can get this, go to our GitHub, you'll see Ceph Geo Rep, it's all tagged, it's got a bunch of stars and followers already, so you can pull the RPMs or devs down from there, because remember, we are, we're RHEL friendly and we're Ubuntu friendly now. And, uh, well, that's it, I got nothing more to say, so that's Ceph Geo Rep, and I can't wait for everyone to start using it.